Okay, we're going to do this the second time because I just did a great version of this lesson and it had no audio. So, here's the lesson for today. Uh, first 10, do a little warm up. We've got EC11 here ready for you to go on in and a few of you have already got that down. Well done. But uh, if you haven't, get on that or work your way towards it. You can always check this folder if you are done. After the 10 minutes, we could have a timer. You could set a timer. Um, get your headphones on because we have a video-led lesson about a quest game. And uh, the first link is the starter project, so open that one up. Click into it. Make sure that you're signed in. Click See Inside. You're going to need to remix, so... Just like whenever I go to the explore page and open up random whatever game, and if I want to remix it, that's how I keep it in my library. So when I go to the library, it should say that it's there. It's not. You really kind of have to work on it for a minute for it to go into the My Stuff section. But anyway, let's get back to what we are working on today. You've got your starter project here for the quest game. Um, the person is controlled by the arrow keys, but... You have to click the flag to make it go. So what you're going to end up programming today is how this character can walk into different rooms and it changes the map, or at least the appearance to the user, um, I guess. Might be a better way to say that. So here's how you make this happen. You get your headphones or whatever your listening devices are that are in your ears that are not causing any problems for any other people. You're going to go to Quest Video Game Instructions. It's going to lead you step by step. The first uh, you know, video is an overview. So you're going to want to check that out just to kind of get a background on the game and blah, blah, blah. Um, at the end of each video, it will give you instructions. First one is go to the next video and select a starter project. Please don't forget, your starter project is in Schoology. So open that one. It takes you to a completely different one if you were to actually go and select one of these starter projects. It's a headache. It's more work. Don't do it. Um, when you watch this one, it talks about places to go. You're going to program your game to begin on the town backdrop. And then basically your sprite can enter the different rooms. Um, and all of those things are right here. Don't forget when you watch it all the way to the end, pause it. Um, this first one, I think, has two or three different screens. So you might want to, if you miss something here, you know, you're know you going to have to decide, do you want to watch the whole video and then just go for it? That doesn't usually work for me. I usually have to watch it maybe once and then go back and kind of watch and stop it. Or you might just be able to park it at the end here and then switch between your tabs. So check out what it says to do here. Like, you know, look for the when flag clicked, get a forever block, get a if, you know, like, like we do, like pull all the blocks out of scratch that you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna wanna work in full screen so there's a little bit of room. You're gonna wanna adjust your screens a little bit to make it so it's easier to code. You know, I mean, that's a little too small, but you know, like all these things here obviously are what are this is what's making the character move leave that stuff alone um, but just follow the directions they are not that tricky um, if you put some effort into it and pay some attention um, so anyway you watch the video watch it to the end pause it click the next button um, and uh, whoops the next button is this one and then you're going to talk on this one about add an exit um, if you adjust your resolution in your screen, you can kind of see that the instructions are here that, you know, you're going to copy some code. So you're going to duplicate, you know, save your steps. Um, you're going to exchange the show and hide blocks, exchange the switch backdrop at value to town. And you're basically going to make it so that this character can go and do this game in a more interactive fashion and move around and make things happen. Um, so, so anyway, um, once again, stop near the end. It'll talk to you about what you need to do and show you the examples with the colors of the blocks that you need to pull out. Um, you know, if you got to here today, that would probably be a good spot. Then the next day you could do hide the object and add the storytelling elements. 
and then on the third day that you could do the add-on so this could really be a three-day project so anyway um last five minutes if things are going well those can be free time i hope that this makes sense to you i hope you have lots of success and i'll see you soon